we doing, New York? Good. I'm so happy to be here with you. I want you to know I got off my flight yesterday, and there's two things I always realize about New York. The energy is infectious, and it just like tumbles across you, and you get so stoked. And there's also just a little bit of smell. That is New York. I mean, I don't know if Yankee candles are gonna like make it into their next holiday scent, but I love it because something about it says, I'm here. And this is a place of possibilities. I am Kate Smith. I am from Google. I am currently leading developer outreach for Google Maps platform, which is such a fun product. I love seeing how we can take something so tactile, something that literally improves each of our lives. I know I had to take an Uber, which runs off of Google. I had to get on the subway station, which uses Google. Anything that directs your life has a little touch of a map to get you there. So I wanted to be sure that we kind of covered the places that you'll go with Google Maps. But before I even get there, I want to give another Amazing round of applause to the women that have created this opportunity, this Dev Fest in this beautiful space. If we can give another little shout out for them. Thank you so much. To the people of the Time Center, our amazing crew, the people that mic'd me up, I'm really, really grateful. Let's talk about maps here for a second. Let's talk, actually, let's take it back. I'm gonna get really real with you and humble. I got the opportunity to be here in New York last year, and I was talking to a whole bunch of developers. I got to share my story. I'm an opera singer by trade. I've got a master's in opera performance. I've lived overseas. I've done the thing of getting on a stage and belting out my heart and getting a lot of no's in my life, a lot of rejection. I'm sure we've all felt that. But when I got here to New York last year, I was really, really stoked. I'd been on this technical journey, learning how to code, connecting with developers, hearing what they really need to be improved in their technical abilities and what they want to do with their lives, and I was inspired. I got here, I was at like the climax, I'm talking to all these people, the New York Times, and a week later, I got laid off. I will not say by a raise of hands who's been laid off, but I'm guessing there might be one or two of us comrade in arms, and I ended up in one of the worst depressions of my life. I turned around and started talking to a therapist. Thank you, mental health. I'm glad that we talked about that open and freely. Talk to a therapist, talk to a psychiatrist, because I was not doing well. I thought I had come all this journey to just get to a place for somebody to say, in a way, I felt like I had no value. It wrecked me. But I decided I would not stay wrecked. I took the wonderful women of the GDG network and took their advice and said, go and get more certifications. I ended up getting those Google Cloud certifications, right? Got a few of those. Turned around, learned more languages, got better at React. Oh, nobody likes React. No, it's way better than a lot of other things out there. We all know that. Um, and started to make my own profile and started applying, apply, 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 apply for a lot of where I was at the very beginning, standing on another stage, getting told no a lot until I got a call from Google. And who would have thought that losing my job would have ended up giving me this opportunity and to be back right in a beautiful spot building something incredible. So we have this opportunity. If you have been let go, don't let go of yourself. You have places to go. Oh, the places you will go, as one little Dr. Seuss has told us before. And like Google, Dr. Seuss is very creative, very colorful. He gives us a sense of the possibility of being a creative. There's something magical about being a developer. You get to take something and create anything that you want. It can be helpful. It can be not. <laughs> it can be a pain in the butt, like Netflix telling me yet again I need to, you know, up my 
cost for another screen for my my um, subscriptions. It can be it can be anything that you want it to be, but there's a, a, a myriad of places that we can go. So I want to talk about maps because this is where I ended up, and I think that we're all mapping out our own journeys. The big thing is, is like, do I need to know much about maps right now? How is it important? The big thing is, is they're very important. It's where I think we start to lose a little sight of what could we possibly be doing with Maps APIs? What is there left to do? I know how to get from point A to point B, but there's a lot of possibility. So let me just share with you some statistics here. Um, the compound aggregate of growth rate saying that we're going to see an increase in the need for data, geospatial location, uh, apps, APIs is growing. It means that you're going to be entering a market that has 36 billion worth of revenue here in just five years. There's a need, and I need you. I need more developers to come on this journey with me. Because it's also something to be said, layoff person, real weird economic times, that this is a market that is actively seeking right now for hire. So I don't know if you are looking for a job. I don't know if you're at the beginning of your career. I don't know if you're just looking for your things to, you know, expand your library of what you want to put into your apps. But this is a place that needs and has a growth. And these are the numbers. You can't go, you can't make them up. So how are we going to do that? Well, what should you be aware of? Right now, yes, we've talked about maps. We've talked about places and routes. That has been our trifecta for Google Maps over the last Oh shoot, maybe like 20 years we've had those three things. You can you know, pull open your app, you can say, oh the restaurant's not that busy right now, let's go and get it. I got some of the best ramen of my life last night. Something New York does right, your ramen. I mean, you do a lot of other things really right. Maybe sanitation, there was a rat that ran past me at the park. I was a little creeped, but that's okay. Um, but we have a new pillar just out, and it's something that really applies to many corporations, and it gives us a lot of options. So I'm going to talk to you about these three things predominantly. This is our sustainability package. These are our environmental APIs for Google Maps. Brand new. They came out over the summer. I think these launched in May. August, don't quote me. Um, they're here, they're exciting. Um, so first let's start with the solar one because it's the one that's like moving. And you're gonna be like, oh, that's great. I can know where to put a solar panel on my house and that's where people are gonna see the value of this. And they can make money off of that. Better yet, what happens if the PGA Tour got a hold of this little API? and can turn around and say, hey, the grass is gonna be this cold at this time, and it's going to impact the way that ball flies. How will that improve a golfer's swing? I just took a flight here. I'm in Texas, Austin, a lot of hillbillies and whatever else there, barbecue. There is this like Dallas barbecue place across the street. I don't know anything about it. I'm not giving a review, but it's not Texas barbecue. Uh, what happens if a flight, airlines, we have so many, there's a lot that need innovation. They need to turn around, they wanna know how hot it is or cool it is, the temperature for landing a plane. It affects how much turbulence, how fast you come in. A new integration can be installed with this API for a solar API, it gives the context of heat and uh, we'll be able to show more than just where does the sun, the sunshine hit. We then have our pollen API, which is this one, um, which is, this one is a heat map visualization showing uh, pollen levels and detailed plant allergen information. Uh, this one is a huge one. If you think about like the health industry, gosh, I would love for something to just like 
ping me in the morning and say, hey, remember to take your Zyrtec or you're not gonna be able to breathe today. Especially if I'm already on there, I renew my subscriptions through an app already. There's possibilities. The thing is, is like, who's gonna approach anybody with these ideas? You are. You are. These are, this is a whole bunch of stuff that I'm just making up on the fly, but this is where they apply and how you have the possibility as a developer to take, implement, and play with. The last one we have is air quality. Um, a map showing current air quality conditions for your beautiful city of New York um, with its depth of pollutant details. This one makes a big difference. You, we all remember the, the summer where there were all the fires, right? It really affected here. We got to play with this. We got to give it to the city of New York and to our National Fire uh, Department and Natural Park Services to assist with what do our firefighters need to be wearing to go in there and fight a fire? What do we need to have for our own health and safety when it comes to our air quality? These are the things that I'm excited about because they're brand new and they're a brand new pillar. And the thing is, is if you bring it, nobody else is bringing this. Enter a market that is dying to be grown and you're offering, hey, I know how to play with these brand new things. Every company wants to do something with sustainability. It is money to be had. It is value in your pocket. Um, with that being said, I think for some of our newer developers, and I'm gonna throw myself, ooh, touching the mic, I'm gonna throw myself in this bucket of newer. I, there is, and or, just learning different facets. We had the announcement about Gen AI and how it helps, it answers our questions, it provides suggestions, and performs actions for us. But it's a great learning tool, so, by a show of hands, who's heard of the Project IDX? Project, yeah, some hands raised, great. Got announced here just a few months ago. Project IDX. This is right now a wait list product for Google that will do your full stack web development. We're gonna see if this plays. Oh, I'm the person that gets a playing video. <gasps> So this is me fiddling out how to put just a little marker on my map because I didn't know how. And it's going to give me a tutorial and it's saying, well, let's do this together then. It's giving me instructions. I'm asking my question of, hmm, how do I add a marker to a Google map using Google Maps JavaScript? The best part of this is it's gonna turn around and not just give me, here's your code, it gives me every step by step. So I get to learn along the way. This is a product by Google Cloud, but seeing that Maps is under the Google Cloud console, I decided I'm gonna steal it for my presentation. So, <laughs> Project IDX. I think it's a really great opportunity to learn how to do from the simple to the extreme. I chose a simple example because that's where I'm at, the simple side. But it can teach you how to implement these new APIs or anything that you want to do more with geospatial data. It's a great place to be at right now. So, my question to you. So where do we go from here? It's been an interesting year. We have had layoffs. We are continuing to expand into new horizons. Google Maps is here for you. I am here for you. I would love to be a resource. Please find me on LinkedIn or my email is as simple as smithkate at google.com. Send me an email. I wanna connect you with people for whatever you would like to do. We have an opportunity when it comes to taking where you are now to where you want to go. I'm not sure of the demographic. I'm sure we have GDE experts in this room who I, I bow to you. You're incredible. We can't do this work without you. What you offer is invaluable to the new people on the street, to, to people that want to change directions of their career. There is an opportunity for us to work together and I wanna 
pitch one last thing. I don't have any slides for it. Everybody else had like 90 slides. I was like standing in the background. I was like, I have five. <laughs> um, I lead the product testing at Google, for Google Maps, I should say. And we're always rolling out things. I've got a list of probably 35 different things that we're gonna do next year. And I want you to find me, because I wanna give you early access to it. Now, mind you, there's some caveats. You gotta sign an NDA. I gotta know that you're not gonna take this off to the next person and be like, hey, I found this really great thing, and it's all my idea. No, I will lose my job. I want you to come and test and play with us, because it's more than just, hey, we're Google. I thought Google was a little bit of a god, a mecca to come to, but the fact that really kept me interested in Google was the fact that we tried to do the right thing and we're going to try to do that right thing in a hard time and create something beautiful. But that's not gonna happen unless we have you. And if there is an opportunity that you're looking for, you're looking for one person to believe in you. If you're looking for a chance to just try something new, this is the space to do it in. We have room to play. I have access to things that are coming out. Please, please find me. And that leaves me with just a little quote, to kind of after our, oh, the places you'll go. I love this quote. Dr. Seuss is, is the epitome of where I hope that we get to take the next year. Don't let the last year or where things have been keep you down. Think about your opportunities of what you want to become, and we will do that together. I'm really grateful for your time, and I hope to see you soon. Please find me outside, and I will answer any questions. They told me I had times for questions, but I don't have time for questions now. So thank you so much.